Hi ladies, um, this is Donna again. I'm on a roll with these videos, but I did want to show you this album I made for my nephew's um, girlfriend. She had a bridal shower a week or so ago, and I just finished this album for her, and I wanted to share it. Um, the front page is, um, oh, let's see, it's hard doing this with one hand, and I'm, I'm very new at this. As one of my roses, I have some little gold rings hanging, little fringe or bling there. The frame is uh, cut out on um, Amy Sizzix dye, and I put glossy accents on it and kind of messed it up, so I had to poke it with a little piercer to get it a little bit roughed up, maybe look a little bit better. So that's in the memories. It says memories up here. So that's my first, the front cover. Next page is uh, a lot of paper punch flowers I made and a cupcake flower. Little Martha Stewart punch butterfly it says you and me. And ta two tags. Happiness and cherish in the back she can journal. And this here cutout is actually uh, cutouts off of this page and I just glued it on there. Next page. It's also a frame from Amy Sizzix. And I left it open for pictures. And a uh, silk flower. I think I just uh, glittered it up and some silk flowers fringe on here. And some bling. It says cherish. And this page, you know what this paper is, Mariposa. And this is a punch flower I made. Uh, some tags also. Journaling on for journaling on the back and happiness. And this page is another silk flower I glint glittered up a little bit with some silk flowers and some um, olivine glimmer mist spray on it. Some gold ribbon I just scrunched up with glue and this is a little um, shoe button I found and put on there. And this page here, it's just a little place for pictures and journaling, whatever she wants to put in there. And uh, my stamp, my favorite of all time stamps, and a little uh, dot pearl button on there. And this page here, another silk flower. I like to use the silk flowers. And I think I'm large podge just in first, so it's just kind of stiff, but I, I like that there. And that Martha Stewart punch, and here's another little bling button I put on there. And some tags for journaling and pictures. And this is a little um, file folder punch we have. She can do that. And then uh, this is a rub one. It says love. It's really pretty. And moving on to this page, uh, we have two tags. I think that, yeah, this here one is for journaling, but I thought that was so cute. I don't know where we got those. And this is a stamp. There's a lot of glare on it, best of times. And I stamped it and then just cut the paper out randomly and inked it up a little bit to make it look older. Um, let's see, this is, this is Mariposa paper too, I think, and I just I punched it with our punch. Put some nice trim on there. And this is one of our um, little lace fan flowers we make. And I thought that was a pretty page. And this is Moments to Remember page. Place for a picture. This here is um, embossed, stamped and embossed. Just randomly, I just did it around. And another, of course, silk flower with some little um, fibers on there. Um, this page is um, another frame, but it says uh, happy with some fibers and more silk. Now these are prima flowers, I think. I put all the little bling. These are little blings I put around there. And the last page is probably my favorite. That, that paper there was on her uh, shower invitation. And it, what it says is hearts and flowers, ribbon and lace, the look of love upon her face. With a happy heart that's hard to hide, Lee is soon to be a bride. 
I just love that. So there we have some Martha Stir punches and the yo-yo flower Amy and I make. And that's it, ladies. I just wanted to really, really share this with you guys. I hope I didn't make anybody sick with the dizziness, but I'm doing this myself, and I am just learning. So, uh, till next time, uh, I will be having a giveaway if, if you want to stay tuned for that within the next day or so. I'll be posting a t uh, video on that. So, I want to thank you so much, and uh, have a great day and a great week. Bye-bye.